remember. You need not the clinician. You don't remember anything from today. I think so. Just, just disease. Just falling asleep. The blacksmith did not make it. All she had to do was fucking obey. She would have agreed Boy, with everything that was said. Anyway. Said some water. For some water. She puts her hands on yours. Your you feel something Might behind your eyes. Been. Your head start to ring just a little bit. Your vision starts to narrow just a bit on the side. I have that feeling like you did back at the manor. She looks into your eyes. Vision narrowing to a pinpoint. A little feel a trickle of blood running down from your nose and then your vision opens back up. <laughs> see normally again you feel a little dizzy of course. But this, a single this drop is, of blood trips down onto your pants recently come here this is a different group. forgive me region to the surgeon is here for information about the murder Kaylin, what was that send them in and come in with them understood <sighs> she looks confused she it's not as concerned as you are, but what this is about. shouldn't seem to understand the question. It's a journal of some sort. It mentions the bad <clears throat> ones, but... Sorry, I just got a bit of a... Other than that, it doesn't seem to have much... I have a headache. It's also a bit of a She raises her fingers into your hair, checking your head, Radical looking for any injuries or anything like that. Writings, I... There's no hint of that feeling again. I see is the vagabonds... What is it, Jasper? Sorry, I just had a bit of a moment, I guess. What is it? <sighs> As she turns to the side, you're, you're still kind of clearing your vision. You can see through a tattered hole in her battered dress. There's the top of a scar. A, it looks like a triangle shape, a small one, and cut in. And as she turns and her dress falls differently, you see the rest of it. You know that symbol. You bear that symbol. Caitlin? Finding roughly much in the way of her wound appears to have been information about who this might belong to. When did that happen? You start seeing log entries about the scar dabbling in rituals. Rights of the vagabond faith. He touches it. When did that happen? There's a description. She, she looks shocked. She pulls a piece of her dress out of the way. She turns to look at it. It's difficult. She leans over. Another one, she says, praying for a good harvest. Twisting to try to get a good look at it. You can tell she can't see it well. She doesn't seem to know anything about it. You don't remember getting a scar? We don't have any ink. You want to see what it looks like? a tree in the night and has fallen to his death. He speaks of omens. As you pull open your shirt, show the shape of the scar on your chest. The two triangles pointed away from each other. Almost touching. Your thoughts race for a moment. Is this, is this the first time you've shown this to someone? The purpose? That's what it looks like. Does her scar look old or like fresh-ish? It looks relatively fresh. Um, 
and neat as well. Something that your scar doesn't have going for it. We can't afford to hide back puzzle pieces, Kaelin, please. Kaelin. That's what he told me. Look, I will hold on to it until... You can see... Tears of frustration rolling down her face as she's trying to explain to you, but I know I won't. You can't pick up much more than her anger. I'll not say anything, but if it becomes something relevant, I would need to bring it up. He wouldn't do that to you. He wouldn't do that to you, Kaylin. Well, at least we would know. I know, I've been toying with the idea a lot. I... Was this perhaps the day Kaylin. he was struck? I don't know. So I don't Kaylin. think... No. <laughs> the five have been picked. Fine. This Fine. Say what? Douse your lantern. Fine. <laughs> This Baymont has picked we have that chicken farm to go to, right? And I'm coming to you for clarification. Or if you'd want it to happen, because I question it myself, but it would have been Miss Baymont, the two guild members, Garlock and Marcus. Right. We'll figure something out. If the plague reaches this town. It's, there's a lot happening. Must be so. Miss Claire and Mr. Oliver have requested as well. She gives a tiny kiss on the top of your hands as she pulls them up. To go. They will be. They will be paid. Miss Baymont must. Understood. She can't help remember that sensation from earlier. It doesn't happen again. But if it looks like that things are unattainable, if it looks like there's things happening in the dark, it's too dangerous. You get the fuck out of there, and we. How are you feeling? I will give them the rundown before they all leave. Your head hurts. Did they tell you what happened? Right. Excuse me. We're still doing our plan. Right. Where? What's the last thing you remember? Right, after that. Miss Grace, the new uh, lady in the town that came in with us, is simply asking where she was right. staying. Right, you for felt me. like you were drowning. Miss Grace, and then what? 
one of the rooms upstairs. Mr. Faulkner. You woke up. Her, uh, somewhere safe. Talk to her. Where? She's right outside. In the regent's room. Back over your shoulder in the regent's rooms. Okay. So you had a nightmare to it too, huh? I don't have a stranglehold on this. Being pulled down. It all Sounds scary. Fall apart. Then the father perhaps. was weaponizing things in a way that he shouldn't have for the impure reasons. Walking. If I'd done it right, I would agree with him wholeheartedly. But I cannot help you. You were walking. Him. With all the yeah, other we're she shakes her head. She's obviously having trouble getting you to understand. You. It is Swam. Ran. Journal. Walked. Moved. It talks about the vagabond. After a moment, you. And then I realized after a couple pages, it turns into more journal entries. The motion she was making with her two hands was the same thing she was making the other night when you were passing the paper back and forth. Yes. She's talking about taking a trip. You want to go for a walk? Leaving. The writing is worn, very old. Get you so far? From my guess. Yeah, you don't want to stay here. I never actually found any dates. If you follow me. Which would point to also point to if it is worn it yeah, has I know been the read feeling. often by who that's less obvious well, what is your name this Don't Miss Fairfax did Cedric. say this was her husband's Don't book <sighs> very curious Miss Fairfax was adamant okay. against you taking over the church New Daniel Hotel. Cedric walked by you saw he could barely look at the two of you. She did grab me. Uh, she came to town with some travelers today. Cedric? It's been a long day, Kayla. I'm not sure that I made the right choice. I think this is the best choice. Andrews. If I may be a moment. When I first came near me, me, father did give me one warning. That you were involved with devilry. To what level Are he you did okay? not know. Interesting. I lay there with Which... involved in brother. I'm glad. Yes. You can almost hear the sound echoing again in your ears. Why I was Crack. curious about the body you had brought for the state. A lot of pieces aren't mm -hmm. in place for me yet. A lot of things that don't go. add up. Between now, uh, what I have heard, and we can't go right now. What I keep hearing, I suppose. I am supposed to already be through my investigation and already preparing to burn a witch. However, every Have you heard moment what talking that passes, about more questions arise. Kaylin, such as just sit tight for a bit, okay? That one, Miss Claire's involvement in this, I've not even begun to. Ponder the vagabond boy, Steora's brother. What do you think about the old guy? Yes, the other witch, or other marked. You can see her frustration Red. pouring off of her. She's <laughs> pacing back and forth a little bit, bouncing around. Looks like a trapped animal. I have not seen her. Yeah. Kaylin, take a seat. Just sit for a bit. If I were to be a Is there somewhere you want to be? Because she was found with a dead animal. You just don't want to be in here. I can only guess that she drew it. 
We can't just leave her in the middle of things down there. May mean it has some sort of you don't want to be around him. Yeah, Does he's not up here. These questions? He's not up here. We're going to play this close to the chest. So, he's fine. We'll be okay. Just breathe. You know she won't be able to resist rubbing things in her face. I know. Look, we can just figure it out when everyone's not. I assume you she may end up revealing too much while goading to us. You're right. I don't know what the proper course Can of action please. is. All I know is we are being outmaneuvered. <clears throat> that there are several steps ahead of us. I... That we have found that some of those that we relied upon most have deserted in the middle of the night with books of heresy. Don't look at me like that. Be a witch. Throws herself in the second story of the Bailey and dies. <laughs> Caitlin. Why is this so important to you? Commit no violence. Offer answers. I'm confused. In my time as a witch hunter. Conversations need to happen. Your town is Things need to be said. We can't just. Your witches. Are it's been a long day, Kaylin. Please. Just as strange. Witches normally are vengeful and vexing, going after people who have wronged them, causing harvests to fail, and the like, putting curses on ill-behaved children. <coughs> Covens spread sickness to the land. say that the son was willing not only that but he built a wicker altar on a hill in the forest looking out upon the vast bits of humanity and you can be more huffy than I can I be congratulations like which behind this must be burned and then the one that was meant to be dead be offered I know. This is like most what of my job. They are indeed nowhere near as diabolical as the one that I fear may be behind it. Normally I get paid pretty well. They come for us next. Our buffer of safety gone. Who do you think might be Chicken farm? I don't want to do a chicken farm. The fact that she interacts with it. You do want to do, okay. What? I didn't think much of it, but when Mr. Bain spoke about the coven... Me. I I'm bad at this, Caitlin. I'm tired. I never 
Sarah said the witch we had to burn was Steora. Side of her house and questioned her. In the middle of questioning mm -hmm. her, Walk. she found blood. Was Look not fresh. At the stars. Day, two days old, maybe. It was congealed. Once and all this is done, we can go sit and look at the stars if you want. Maybe I'll be sober this time. Coming from the trap door in her house leading to the cellar, we went down there. Which might be boring. And we found Lucas's legs. Lower half of his torso. That is not the strangest part, but the trap door closed and we heard things moving upstairs while we were trapped down below. <coughs> that one was in the room when it was sleeping when it happened. You know how hard it, it takes me to position my hair like this. Sure. It's a lot of work. But when nope. the things are moving, the legs kicked and flailed as they were alive. But the legs themselves were as old as they should be. They aged the same as the Better. body. I brought the legs upstairs. Thank you. And set them down, and we heard the trap door open and close again. And when we looked back at the legs, they were standing and ran away. I do not know something against Claire. That being said, Claire seemed Yeah, this is most of my day. Incredibly shocked by this event, so while she may be implicated, I do not think she is willingly implicated or knowingly. yet speak with her. I am not fully convinced she is not actively serving this coven. Everywhere I have gone, that this madness has afflicted people. Roland attacking someone in the tavern, or trying to. Claire was there. He would not rouse and would not move until she tried to calm him. This is similar to what's known as a touch test. Someone who's afflicted in a coma by a witch can only be aroused if the witch themselves dispel the curse. Normally, they must be forced to under gunpoint to dispel such a curse by reciting a certain phrase, something that active Freeze the victim. What is it? Claire. Claire is involved. I think it might be worthwhile to be able to patrol the ground. It's not that I'm the person who's talking. It's more just 
I do not think Sean Didn't you talk to him earlier? Yeah, if you want ladies was out killed there by whatever the company controlled. I don't know who else is maybe looking at that. Why I think he's a hunter. That's how he introduced she himself. Yeah, he's got a rifle and everything. She and Sean may have been close. I do not actually know. She thought it because he had proposed to her that day, I believe. Hunting. The lady black behind. The night that I was up there. Kept ranting on and on and on about how the town had had no children. And it's an issue. And there needs to be children. She went and got a book, a statistic book. Supposed to display any childbirth within the last few years. There's been nothing in Blackwell. Not a single child. I have the book. You are certain of this? I brought it here. Took it with me. The sign. One of the signs of witches is on those who are unable to produce children, who then turn to stealing them. Miss Claire is a target mm -hmm. for whatever reason. Her and Sean were supposed to elope. The lady even spoke to me, telling me that I should pick a lady in town and have another family. She would not stop. Like I said, gotta talk and stuff. We're needed. Would you prefer the uh, nights? Go ahead, sorry. Come on, Kaylin. Once you're finished with your patrol, make sure that all the lights are lit in the streets, and then come back to the bailey. Understood? Would we take one of your rooms as residence for the night? We'll take one of the rooms, all right. Understood? If you need any of us, simply call. I, f I feel through this conversation it is important to bring back up what I heard when we went to the manor yesterday. Oh. Speaker of mind, upon, arrival, upon arrival, we could not find the lady any anywhere, and so we entered her office, and I heard murmuring from the back room in her waiting room. She was speaking to somebody, telling them that she needed a little more time saying that she needed more time and then when I opened when she came out she slapped me told me eavesdrop eavesdropping was rude and in the moment of anger I didn't think about it too much but when I closed the door there was nobody in the room it was an empty room she straightens your cravat Region. adjusts the buttons this the vest a man in a top a hat. brush of sensation the around soul. the scar the brings back a vision there from your nightmare. When we went to dinner that night, Mr. Sala, where you going? Have that feeling of rope biting into your wrists. Splintering wood table under your back. He's trembling. Um, Honestly. If I'm being frank about the trip to the manor, I feel like I should reveal the whole story. At Sorry, least to these just gentlemen. Had a weird um, dream last night. Well, uh, I would bid you make it quick. <sighs> well, it's it's not long an explanation. Myself and Nathaniel are the manor servants. We go to clean and I I just the walk manor. around a little bit. But when we went yesterday, there was one room, the, the room directly to the right, when you entered, there, in that room there was a rocking chair, mountains of alcohol bottles were found in a teddy bear on some sofa. As we were cleaning that room, the doors shut themselves, 
we couldn't open them with any amount of force. And it was not myself, but Nathaniel said that he saw something approaching us. Of course. Um, last ditch effort to get out of there. Uh, Rest I, well, Mr. Harcourt. I. Oh well. I was. I mean, what's a moment of fear and you let me know what's needed. I will do. I'll have spilled blood for the father. Here's. And maybe you, as a witch hunter, can tell me. I'll tell you about it later. Because I. In a moment of fear and desperation, mind you, I, I, I pleaded for the little one that we saw to open the door for me, and suddenly the doors opened and I was able to pull Nathaniel out. Is she alright? She's antsy. She wants to go walk around outside and look at the stars. After that, oh, we God, were please in don't. the kitchen, finishing up for the day so that we could get as quickly as possible. Blush to them. And the child was standing there at the doorway. She doesn't like being kept inside, I suppose. Lord. He had the letter for Mr. Clive in his pocket, and we... Enjoy your evening, Mr. McCourt. ...from the manor as quickly as possible. Sir? And Mr. So you could understand the fear we felt. This pretty much implicates Lady Blackwell. Can I go talk to him? I... Your accusation is grave, lad. Come on. It's not My accusation... It's not an easy thing to get someone as powerful as a lady convicted for witchcraft. Sir? It's not impossible, though. You Ah, Kaylin wants to talk to you. If I am the father of the church, then I believe I have the power to do so. You would. The regent would have to back you up on this. Would be I'll leave you guys to it. Done kicking and screaming, though. They would have to be dragged from their manor. And if their manor is protected, their manor, has, their manor has the symbol, I believe, of the vagabond god of death in it. It is protected. The v? Are you talking about the V yes. with the. Yes. There's a statuette. To directly to the right when you walk in through the front door. There's several around the manor. Destroyed them. I saw a couple in the side Which rooms as well. It's more, destroyed. It is more heavily protected than we thought. I tell you this. I make no accusations. I simply tell you the truth. If that means anything Boy, in what situation. You say, what you say alone is already claims of witchcraft. Andrews, we would have to destroy every mark in there. We'd have to set up counter magics. Protections of the Lord across who knows how long our Jaland. We would have to. We could build cairns. As the, f as the father of the church, I believe I will have a more firm grasp on my allowance into the manor. With that, the, with that being the case, I can probably set up the counter magics. You might find better ease. An old witch hunter's trick. Instead of needing to put a mark on the building, surround it in cairns, small stacks of stone, and put the mark on that instead. It allows you to hide them so the witch doesn't know you're doing it. That is true. I could also put marks inside of the house as well, behind paintings and whatnot. Aye. You'd simply need to prick your finger every time. That is perfectly fine. What else would we have to do? A protection you could carry yourself beneath the new moon. When it is either darkest or brightest. If we can find a hollowed out old stump, water collected there, blessed by the Father. Keep it in a vial on you, you should be safe. I would sooner hand me hmm. my pistol. If you felt unsafe. What else we must do, though? It's a little more pressing. We must find Miss Claire. 
I have words I, I must will... exchange with her. I will secure this book. Keep it safe. <sighs> Things are starting to make sense, at least, if a little. Hmm. Crack. Inform the regent of our departure if he is still awake. Of course. I... Stay safe. I may the father protect you. May he protect you. Alright, Cedric. I don't care if it's wrong. I love you. His face is like dead of emotion, but there's the super obvious like tear marks on his face. I will do anything to get you out of this. Yeah. I know the feeling. <laughs> I was right there. You have to stay away from each other. You need she doesn't seem to remember any of it. She pushed me, it was like it's one of those things, Nathaniel. At the manor in the street. She doesn't remember. The, talk. the last thing she remembers is falling asleep, having a dream, and then waking up in Regent's room. You know, she had the same eyes. I understand that they're rolled back but her eyes were pure white yeah, I saw her turned to me she pushed me and she jumped she talks to a child there I told you a child of black obsessed should I be thankful it drives me should I should I praise the father for bringing her back to us Taking away such a horrible mistake of my own? Comes back with a rag. Should I fear what it means? I don't know. I don't know anything, Cedric. I wish I did. I wish I had any sort of sense in this. Nathaniel. Why did you ask me about my dreams? We talk about a lot of things. With what's going on recently, how oh, scarily specific. Uh, and then those men were talking about curses and dreams. That's not a coincidence. I had just had a nightmare last night, that's all. It just felt so... Real. Felt real. Yeah. What happened, Daniel? You don't want to know. Hello? Oh, fuck that shit. Amelia? Where's Regent? He's laying in his room. He's not well. You are. I gotta talk to him, regardless if he's well or not. If he sends me away, I won't blame you. It's not your fault. You can take a seat, just give me a second. Right. If you tell me, Miss Campbell. I was gonna go in through the window, but I remember this door is always unlocked, so don't worry about it. <laughs> Sorry. I wish there was a way to cancel those after sending them. Thank um, you. Legion! I'll let him go. If that's what you mean. You can hear the sounds of someone. Regent, um, Miss Brent is here to see you. 
first time in. She will be waiting at the dining table for you. Too surprised going in there. Luigi is my close friend. Nothing surprises me anymore. Permission to come in. You about that one? What do you think? Oz? You know. You're having nightmares. Palin had nightmares. Should we assume that Miss Claire had nightmares? What? Why? Why, why would we assume Miss Claire? Claire has nightmares. What if she was targeted with the whole... <clears throat> you know, Lucas ordeal. I don't know. I don't know if it's related. He was the thing. We are to believe. under the impression you retired for the night, and I watched you take that hammer to the nose. We can wait another night. She points in the direction of the manor. Has anything to do with all of this? I know why she. I know why she targets you. What the fuck? You're close to her every day. She sees you every day. Or every other day. If you were gonna be one of her targets, she would have picked it at one of those points. And Kaylin. She hated Kaylin from day one. Do you think that she is what we fear she is? What do you fear? If I'm to believe the conversation at the table, I'd say she's a witch. Personally, I think worse. I think much worse. I don't know. It's not my call to make. If we're going, we need to go. Moon's up. I just try and make it through each day. Cedric. I'm trying so hard to just... Keep my head down and not get in trouble. Even then. Yeah. Slapped. Get yelled at. I'm gonna be honest, Nathaniel, when it comes to work, you're the only person who doesn't yell at me. Sounds counterproductive. Mm. I'm tired. I'm so tired of this town. I'm so tired of people. We're losing night patch. Sun's gonna start Yeah, me too. There's something in the It's my parents. They're gonna die out there if we don't stop them. Got it. We've already lost the blacksmith. No more ammunition can be made now. She would have agreed with herself. everything I said. She did it to herself. You look at me. Night time outside. The moon hanging in the sky. Just about halfway over. You realize that it's you, you soon. It just might be enough time. Who knows what tomorrow brings? And then. 
Check up on them. I'll be downstairs. You. I'll leave the door unlocked. The okay. door. Tears. It's all right, Cedric. It's all right. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna... I think I was just sprinting through town for the exercise. Just don't. Whatever it is, don't piss it off. I don't think you should go, boy. You don't deserve that. Stay here. Then, uh, <clears throat> standing orders? You protect yourself, Alice Bailey, and her. These are the last few good things in this town. Are you going up there, sir? I don't have a choice, Mr. McCord. I have the elixir Miss Baymon handed to me if you feel like that's a good idea. However, she did mention to, uh, put it into your drink if you wouldn't take it. I'm a little hesitant of its properties. You think she wants to poison me? I don't know. I didn't do it either way. But if you need it, it's there. Fitting. Fitting way. Die. 
What do I even fucking say at this point? Like I said, I'm not making it to come. Look after the place. Good luck, sir. We need you both. Everyone that goes. Come back. I will give my life to bring him back, but if I can't, just know I tried my hardest. I would like all of you. I am going to sit outside. Yeah, I'll at least watch them go. I'm gonna check all the windows and stuff. Stay safe.
You don't need to stay up if you don't want to, Cedric. Mm -hmm. Ah, but that was the key word, Nathaniel. Want to. Well... Rose you a bottle of spirits across the table. Take the edge off. Down the hatch. <laughs> Lights it back. I'm gonna sit here for tonight and just doze, I think. Wake me up if you need me for anything, okay? I'm gonna go to my room, lock the door, and shine my candle so I don't see the boogeyman underneath at this point. Good luck. Do you know how horrifying it is that I legitimately might need it? <laughs> 